Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are testing all new makeup today. I have so many fun things to try out. A new eyeshadow palette from Glaminatrix, which is stunning, you guys will see. I have a new hourglass skin tint, some Benefit Mascara, Give Beauty Cheek products, and more. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting with the face, we are gonna be using the new hourglass hydrating skin tint. I'm so curious to see if this is something I will like. Sometimes I do steer a little clear of hydrating or glowy products. It didn't really say glow, so I'm hoping this will work for my oily skin. I'm going to go ahead and pair it with the airbrush primer from Hourglass as well, which is one of my favorites. I think it does kind of blur everything, create a nice matte finish as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the face and then we can try out the new skin tint. So this is described to be a lightweight skin tint that boosts moisture levels by up to 52% for a dewy glow. So maybe it will be a little bit dewy and provides a sheer veil of coverage for comfortable all day wear. It's described as light coverage with a radiant finish. This is what the skin tint looks like and let's apply it to the face. I'm just gonna put some on my hand. I do have the shade number six and it will go ahead and just Blend this onto the skin. And the shade, I would say, is definitely a pretty good match. I do feel like the brush kind of took away some of the coverage, so I am going to go in just with my hands and just add a tiny bit more and get this all blended in. I definitely can see that it is a light coverage. So here's how the skin looks. I would say it's not overly dewy at all, which I like to see, but it just looks very fresh and natural. I'm also gonna go in with this product. This is actually new from First Aid Beauty. I feel like I should try this as like a base for our concealer. This is the First Aid Beauty Brighten and Glow Eye Cream, so it should add a little bit of coverage, I would think, to kind of brighten up the under eye area. I know they used to have something similar to this. That's what it looks like, so it does have a little color. And I definitely did not get much sleep last night. It was like storming at like 4 a.m. So I definitely woke up and I was like, what in the world? It was so loud. The wind was insane. So I probably have some dark circles. So I did apply it. I'm not noticing a huge difference here with the brightness. I feel like it looks pretty similar, honestly. So I'm just going to quickly do the other eye, but it does feel really good. I was just expecting it maybe to have a little bit more peachy tone to it that would actually brighten that area, but it seems more of just an eye cream. So that's kind of our base. I am going to go in with this NARS concealer just to cover up this darker acne spot here. And then just a couple on this side that need just a little bit more coverage since the skin tint is very light in my opinion. Now let's move on to the eyes. I have a new palette here from the brand Glaminatrix, which if you guys are familiar with their, I think it's called, it's either called Nearly Natural or Nearly Neutral. I think it's Nearly Natural Palette. It's such a pretty neutral palette and a lot of people just raved about it last year. They are an indie brand based out of Australia and they have some amazing quality. When I saw they were doing a sugar and spice palette, I was so excited. It has this beautiful like leather fall looking packaging and then here is the colors inside. Just absolutely beautiful. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting when I hear sugar and spice. I'm like thinking warm leaf like tones but I mean it does have some pretty purples in here some bronzes so I might I don't know we'll see what I get I kind of want to try something a little bit neutral I know a lot of you guys are asking me to do this latte makeup trend but I feel like every day for me is latte makeup so I, I just already do that it's just natural eyeshadow so we'll see what we can do with this palette here I'm really drawn to this really pretty purple this bronze looks stunning just so many good shades in here I'll go ahead and insert these swatches for you guys as well so you could see the whole palette but let's go ahead and prime the eyes okay so diving into the palette here I do want to use this sticky date color in the crease and I'm just using my BK a 502 which is again my one of my favorite crease brushes just cuz it is nice and small but it packs on the pigment right where you want it to go this is a really nice creamy formula. I feel like a lot of times, sometimes these cooler tone 
grayish shades can be really hard to blend, but Glamour Natrix has a, such a good formula with their mattes and their shimmers as well. If you guys like sparkle, just you wait. They have such pretty metallic shades. Next, we're gonna take the dark brown called Brownie in the outer corner. And I'm just patting this on with the BK206 brush. This is a very dark brown, which I love because a lot of times some dark browns, they'll like blend away and they're left being so light. But this is like brown, almost leaning grayish black in a way. It's not as like chocolatey as I thought it was going to be. And there's even like a black in the palette. So I'm really surprised. Now I'm just kind of blending this out with a more fluffy brush. I think I'm gonna do that in the inner corner as well and we'll make it kind of a halo eye. For the lower lash line, I am gonna take the Sticky Date color again, just as a base. And then I'll go in with the brownie. I feel like putting the lighter color down first helps a little with blending, especially when using such a contrasting shade on the eye. And I'm using the BK210 brush for that. So really smoking this out and bringing it all the way into almost touching the inner portion. Okay, I've been dying to use actually this nutmeg shade. I feel like it's stunning. So I'm gonna place this in the middle of the lid. When I swatched this, I was just blown away. How pretty, ugh. I love a good, super shiny metallic. That is so stunning. I do have some glitter fallout, so that's kind of annoying on the face. So just keep that in mind. I didn't think it would do that because it's so creamy, but yeah, it definitely got some fallout. So as mentioned, I did want to align with a brown liner. This is from Melt. And then cleaning up with a little Huda concealer here. Hopefully, hopefully this will get rid of some of that glitter. So I went ahead and did my brows and my concealer and now we're going to try out this new mascara from Benefit called Fan Fest. I'm super excited. Normally I'd probably do lashes with this look but I think we'll just try the mascara out today to see how it goes. I actually am usually a pretty big fan of, <laughs> big fan, Fan Fest of Benefit mascaras. There's not one that I didn't really like besides the Benefit, besides the Their Real Magnet. That one I didn't really like, but I'm excited to give this a shot. It does have a slightly curved bristled wand. So let's just kind of hug the lashes into that curve and we'll see if we can layer it up. I'm noticing quite a bit of length so far and the lashes seem really fluffy. Let's do another layer. So I'm noticing tons of length with this mascara, really good separation, not a ton of volume, but I'm kind of a length mascara girly, so I'm liking this one so far. I think it is so pretty, but I definitely like it better than Roller Lash, and I like it better than Their Real. I just feel like it takes a few layers to get to the desired effect. So that is how the lashes look. Now I did apply bronzer already, so let's move on to the blush. I'm gonna use the Give Blush Duo. I actually did my bronzer with the Bronze Duo. I actually really like this from her line. I love the color and formula of this, so I feel like I'm probably gonna like the blush too. Uh, I picked the shade Lasting Love. This seemed like a pretty, almost peachy rose. Let's try it on. This is true, like what is the trend now, Strawberry Girl. <laughs> Strawberry Girl blush. It goes from tomato girl to strawberry girl. I don't know. I can't keep up. So this is an intense color. I am going to go ahead and just dull it down with my foundation brush. But that is the Lasting Love color. 
Now we can finish off with the lips. I actually got a huge package from Lawless with all of their new Forget the Filler lipsticks and these lip liners. I think the lipsticks are the new item. I picked the shade Wedding Day to go with this look, but I'm so excited to try this new launch from them because I love their Forget the Filler glosses. And I feel like the first lipsticks they released, I wasn't that impressed with. So I'm hoping that these are going to be even better. So I'm going to pair it with the Lawless Forget the Filler Liner in the shade Nude Honey. Ooh, I love this formula. And this color is going to be the perfect just go-to neutral. It has almost like a brown undertone. So here's the Nude Honey Lip Liner. Now we'll use the Wedding Day Lipstick. I chose this one because it seemed a little cooler. Oh yeah, that's a perfect pair. It's nice and silky smooth. Uh, I wouldn't say it's super glossy, but it has like a tiny bit of a sheen to it, so it's not super matte. I don't notice it having like a filler type of plump or anything um, like it's not plumping the lips but the lips definitely look plumped with this pairing with the lipstick and liner so here's the finished makeup look trying everything out I am gonna curl my hair after this because I have a couple other videos I want to film and it's just not looking as best right now I slept on wet hair and I feel like that's always a mistake but yeah I thought I would curl it so I could film some other stuff and have cute curls in so I'll probably look different when we do our final thoughts, but I will go ahead and wear this a few hours and check back with you and so you can see how everything is wearing and give you guys my first thoughts on these new products. So I will see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I wanted to do my update. It's actually been five hours. I probably look completely different because I did curl my hair. I put this dress on because I had so much other stuff to film today. So I've been very busy the past few hours, but let me give you guys my thoughts on everything thing here is what we are looking like honestly it looks pretty dang good I will say I'm just getting a little bit shiny but not nearly as shiny as I really thought that I would be so that being said I feel like our complexion does look pretty good we're obviously getting shiny in our t-zone but it's held up pretty well I would say for a hydrating skin tint so hourglass I don't know they just they never really do me wrong when it comes to their complexion products I always really like their foundations and I think I will really like like this one as well everything so far it looks very smooth and I don't think it's breaking up anywhere on the skin I was really impressed with the Glaminatrix sugar and spice palette as well this is stunning I love the gorgeous metallics in here and I like that I can go more neutral with this one and a little bit more colorful if I want to I didn't love the glitter fallout that it had but I think it actually has kind of cleared up a little bit. There's maybe a couple glitter flecks, which is a little bit annoying because, you know, I don't want to have my whole face just like sparkling, but I really love, love, love this nutmeg color that we use on the lid. It's so stunning. Maybe there's a little bit of fading with the dark mattes that we use because I do feel like the shimmer has kind of taken over the whole eye, but honestly, gorgeous palette, stunning quality, definitely recommend. I can't wait to play with this a bit more. I do like this Benefit mascara as well. There is no smudging. Benefit's usually really good with their mascaras being very long wearing. Even having oily skin, I don't have any transfer. Definitely takes a few coats to build up the desired length that I want. And it does make your lashes look very long, very wispy and pretty. So I think this is a really good one. I'm excited to try this a bit more. I also really like the Give Blush. It's an amazing formula, so pigmented. Our blush is still holding on strong. So this is really good. Maybe I should have gotten a lighter shade. I don't even know if they have that many light shades in the collection. But I mean, this is a pretty color, but it is very pigmented, which is a good thing because then you know it's going to last. You can always make it a little more natural with your foundation. So I'd rather have a blush be too pigmented than not pigmented enough. And yeah, just like the bronzer, I really like these. I'm a pretty big fan of the Give line. I feel like no one really talks about them enough and they have some pretty awesome products. Also, very impressed with our lip color today. This has stayed on pretty well. I did not do any eating or anything like that during the five hours, but I mean, the color is still there thanks to the lip liner. And I really liked the formula of these new Lawless lipsticks. They are so pretty. Again, if 
you are expecting more of a plump, I wouldn't really say they plump at all. The gloss definitely will give you more of that thickness and juicy look, but I feel like it's still a great formula, and this wedding day shade is a perfect nude, a perfect wedding color. So that is how everything looks. I feel like the only thing I don't like on my face is how my concealer looks right now which is interesting because I actually do like that Huda concealer, but I feel like there's just some darkness maybe from the eyeshadow mixing in. But overall, everything actually turned out really great for the new products that we tried. I'm really impressed with these items. Let me know what you guys think if you guys have tried these yet. Let me know in the comments down below. I will be filming a Sephora haul very soon, and I'll probably include a couple of these in there. So be on the lookout for that. I'm not sure if it will be up before or after this video, but they do have a fam friends and family sale that was running where if you guys know someone that works at Sephora, you can get a code. Uh, so one of my friends actually gave me a code to use for 20% off so I do have a big order but yeah that's gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys